Hi everyone, welcome to today's video. Um, so today I want to talk a bit about safe places um, and staying in your safe place or, or leaving your safe place. So I've been reading a lot and, and seeing comments and working with a few people recently and seeing a, a kind of theme of people becoming more and more recluse or, or reliant on their safe space. So that was the reason this kind of came up and, and I wanted to talk about it. Um, so there are many reasons for people wanting to stay in their safe place or finding it harder to leave their safe place. Um, you know, it could be feeling vulnerable, feeling exposed, feeling unsafe. Um, but essentially what it comes down to is not being or not feeling in control. Um, and I think that's that's the biggest underlying theme there. So while in the safety of one's own home, Almost everything feels controllable, but when, when you go outside into the big wide world, you lose that sensation of, of being in control. There are too many factors in play, so other people, you know, the natural elements and, and everything that comes with that and, and all, the, all the risks and things that, you know, kind of are out there. And I get it, it can be scary not being in control. Um, a lot of fears are are based around, you know, not being in control. So flying, for example, you know, it's not in your hands. You're you're in a big space in the sky, and it, it all depends on, you know, the engineering of the aeroplane and, and the pilot being in control. Um, fear of insects, you know, we kind of they're more powerful than us, and they they have more control because if they bite us or or this that, and the other, we we lose control. Um, you know, fear of judgment also, it's not in your control what other people think, fear of rejectment, reje rejection, sorry, it's not in your control if people push you away and the list goes on and on. So it's no wonder really um, why young people are becoming more isolated. You know, the fear that has been instilled in parents about letting their kids play outside, um, gaming aspect as well, you know, kids are mostly inside the safety of a known environment where all food and, and, and necessities are covered. And a lot of peop young people aren't given any control over anything. A lot of parents do everything for them and I've seen it time and time again. And I'm making reference to Spain a lot because I lived there for over a decade and there's something called the new generation, um, which is kind of, they, they don't work or, or study and it's a generation of over 30s who neither work yeah, neither work nor study, and they just sit at home at their parents' home doing sweet FA, playing video games. And unfortunately, they end up not knowing how to do anything for themselves because even though they've never left home, they don't have to do anything for themselves at home. So why leave? And who on earth is going to want to partner up with someone who's never washed their own underwear? And the answer to that is somebody who needs to be a carer. So yes, there is someone out there for everyone. And I'm... Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm fascinated by, and I've lived it myself, places that are essentially kind of war zones where people just go about their daily lives and you just have to get on with it, with all of that stuff that's outside of your control. So what happens when you stop leaving the safe space of your home? Um, there's a lot of internet self-diagnosis going on, internet support groups, which are actually mostly kind of plagued with people sharing what a shit time they're having too, so it's largely unhelpful. Um, a lot of time with yourself and you have to really watch out for the inner voice there, what's going on inside your head. And often, you know, it can lead to an unhealthy relationship with alcohol or something like that to make the pastime. And so it spirals kind of out of control. And it's not an easy dilemma. People start to rely on their safe space. They feel that anywhere else is an immediate threat to their well-being. And this is really common with the elderly too. And it goes back to a lack of control. You know, if I go outside and I'm, I, I don't feel safe, or, you know, I don't feel safe, I feel exposed, I'm not in control of the elements around me. So it's a loop. If I go out, I'm exposed. If I'm exposed, something could happen. And if something happens, it'll be terrible. So I best not go out. And that's a lot of what ifs with little resolution. And it's kind of the same thing with kids with anxiety. The more they're taken out of school, the less likely they are to go back. But I mean, wait a minute, nobody is born with anxiety. I mean, no one is born with anxiety. So what's going on? Why are we not looking at why kids have anxiety? You know, I've heard about things like kids as young as six or even younger on medication for anxiety. I mean, I don't know, are we insane? I think that's quite extreme. And there's always a why, and it's either to do with the family, which is hard to accept because you have to look at yourself as, as a parent or, or, you know, as a family unit and, and see what's going on. 
Um, it could be down to other kids in the case of schools. So we all know about bullying. Could also be in, in the case of adults in the workplace. There's bullying in the workplace as well. Or to do with, you know, kind of school staff. So we all know of a, a teacher or two or whatever that's, that's unsupportive. But the point is, if you feel in control of you and what's going on inside of you, the outside world is doable. And a client recently asked me that. He just said, why don't you freak out when you're outside? And I said, because I'm in control of me and what goes on inside of me. And I just accept that whatever is out of my control, there's little I can do about it. So there is a great need for everyone to understand that the only thing you can ever truly be in control of in, in your life, essentially, is your mind. If you aren't in control of your mind, your life is being played by external factors. And I refer once again to Viktor Frankl's book, uh, Man's Search for Meaning. Um, you know, you, you have to choose how you think. So essentially what you think is what you become. So yes, it's lovely to feel safe in your, in your lovely home or on the treadmill as somebody commented today or in your mother's embrace, but you have to start taking control of what goes on in your mind. Take the reins, take control and change your life. So start with baby steps and I've talked about this time and time again, meditation, observing your thoughts, affirmations and, and taking action. Um, which is essentially what it comes down to. So um, thank you guys very much for joining a really short video today. Um, I'm being called down for dinner. <laughs> um, please tag anyone that you think might find this useful, share, like, comment, um, and to find out how to work with me one-to-one, -one, just go to the link in the description. So thanks guys for joining, lots of love, have a great evening. Ciao, ciao.